all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. Christmas Eve, 9 a.m. Hangover. Uh, I thought I'd bought a Costa coffee at the petrol station. It's, uh, <laughs> it's a cold car. Press wrong button. That's what vodka does to you. Uh, just a little bit of a catch up basically while I'm on motorway. Uh, first can I point out that I must be doing something good when people are setting Twitter accounts up in my name. Look at that. Porky Corner, which is what I were called on Twitter, but they've spelt it with a capital P and a capital C. Not been tweeting much lately as I'm back on the dragon and beak and doing a lot of W A N K I N G on Viagra because I'm hard as F U C K and boxing board can't do F all as I'm not a license, all that levels. At Dennis Hobson at 18, tagging Dennis in now. I must be doing something right when people are setting parody accounts up. But let me just say this whoever you are, you haven't got the front to even speak to me in person. Uh, but I'm, I'm giving you airtime now, aren't I? Because you don't understand that you're growing the porky legend, aren't you? By setting parody accounts up. There's there's an old saying in the old publicity is good publicity, but it's one of them things, isn't it? Oh. But what can you do? It's one of them things, isn't it? It's uh Estimated time of arrival 9.45 I've got to go to Skeller this morning with some presents Yeah, it's all going out Yeah, it's gonna come to that then, isn't it? It's gonna come to that. Uh, but he not he not got front to meet me. Other than that, I'm all right. Right, we want to talk about. Now we've got the troll business out of the way. I feel I've dealt with it now. The Sky Show. We all saw Craig Richards, didn't we? I thought he won, and I feel sorry for him. We're gonna fight Shaq and Peters now. That's a, that's a pick and fight, that. That's a good fight, that, but it's a pick and fight, isn't it? Richard Riaporte, Riaporte, whatever it's called. He won, didn't he? I'm pleased for him, I'm pleased for Mark Tibbs. British champion is got to be yardstick, can it, for most boxers? It's got to be the yardstick. Uh, Shannon Courtney. I can I, 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 what can I say about that? North, innit? North and what north? We're north. Are we north, Doncaster? North, innit? You know. Uh, do you know women's boxing? I choose my words carefully because I'm good friends with Savannah Marshall. But women's boxing is. I'm all about road here, man. Women's boxing is 
Baba. That's what it is. You see Shannon Courtney there, they look like two scrubbers outside Witherspoons on a Saturday night. They're going for it, while boyfriends are eating a kebab. Is that fucking abs? Oh, speed camera. Speak, camera love, you've just gone through it, you mind flagging me off. You want these? A Tuesday morning. Uh, I forgot where I were now. Women's boxing's baba, isn't it? I mean, Shannon Courtney, bless her. She started out at a gym. She's pushed and pushed and pushed to go pro. They've gone pro with her. She gets it, doesn't she? You go pro, you go on. You pal Coogan Cassie or so, you sell a few tickets, get a profile, get a sponsor, get a car and all that. I get it. Yeah, she's got a great story and all that. So what? Can she fight? No! She can't fight. Don't tell me that Shannon Courtney can fight. She can't fight. She is one of two women in the country in her weight division. So, she can't even have an eliminator for the British title. It's that bad. It is that bad. Andre Dirrell won. A please for him. A please for Andre Dirrell. Dubois, well, I don't know what was funnier, Dubois' opponent with green and red hair or Frank doing shoulder roll when Sam uh, Jones put it on him. I mean, Frank Warren doing shoulder roll, he makes Archie Moore look like a journeyman, doesn't he? Uh, old Frank, with, old Frank's mastered shoulder roll, hasn't he? Frank, the shoulder roll Warren, he has mastered it. I know Dennis thinks he's Ron Lyle, doesn't he? We putting combinations into me every time he sees me. He always gets me in first place. But Frank Warren doing the shoulder roll is embarrassing. Frank, stop it. Stop doing that shoulder roll, Frank, please. It's not good. Will you? Waving at I must have one of them cars, right, that people look at and think, do you know what? Bet he fancies it. You know who I am. Turn that eater off. One thing about Merck's good eaters. But it is what it isn't. Hashtag be safe, Frank. It's a good saying that, innit? Be safe. Go on, Coogan. What next for Dillian White? Well, we spoke about that, haven't we? Uh, Dillian White is on his fifth pay-per-view next, isn't it? Against Povetkin, that's all they reckon. Now, why into suing WBC? Why? Why not? Why into suing WBC? And then we move on to the Chavez show, right? Chavez. What can we say about that? The Americans just don't like any end, do they? Mexican Americans, wherever they are, they don't like him. You just seen what happened. He talks about money too much and about another pound note. Apples and pears, cheeky Nando's, cheeky number. Go on, my son, I'm gonna talk like I'm an Essex gangster. But if anybody put it to me, my arsehole would fall out. Do me a favour, Essex. Essex, do me a favour. Come to South Yorkshire. In Essex. Jesus. Eddie Earn got bottles of beer thrown on him or whatever it were. Why is Dillian White not calling out Joe Joyce? Why not? Because he knows it's an hard night at the office. I'll go on record now and say, Joe Joyce 
against the bar will be pay-per-view and it's best fight in British boxing at the moment. Who wants to see Joshua against Dillian White? Dillian White don't want it, does he? He were offered it. Dillian White's offered the chance to fight for four belts at Wembley Stadium and he turns it down to have a life and death with Chisora on it or whoever he's just fought. Who did he fight? Who did he? Oscar Rivers, was it? To go 12 rounds with Oscar Rivers when he could have fought Joshua. So. Is IFL TV now just keeping Matchroom and Queensbury happy? If not, why is every IFL TV video beginning and the end of the video got adverts for Queensbury shows and the return of Tommy Fury or Matchroom events? Why hasn't it got adverts for Dennis Hobson shows or I don't like him and if he wants to have it out with me he can. Steffi Bull, why haven't they got shows with him on? Hey, why haven't they got shows with Tommy Gilmore or Alma Ingle? I don't know, why is it Queensby or Matcham all the time? I'll tell you why, because Coogan Cassius, he's employed by them, he's going to say he isn't, but Coogan, you know you are. If Coogan hasn't got access to Queensby or Matcham, what has he got? He interviews a core 19 to 25 people. Take them away, they're like rest of YouTubers, aren't they? Chasing shadows like me, doing it as an hobby. What is going on with the man love from Bean and Hearn towards Tyson Fury? Are Sky and Matchroom going to make a move for Fury? If not, why is Eddie Hearn saying it now can be a 50 50 fight? for AJ Fury or AJ Wilder as the Ruiz loss spooked them and what about the Tex love between Eddie Hearn and Fury we're texting each other all month aren't they on quiet but in boxing loose lips all over the place isn't there old Eddie and Tyson eh amazing isn't it one minute the cockroach and a tosser next minute it's man love isn't it Money in it, money. Is Sky Boxing now a cult? Bean! Run a bean! Could have been, should have been, never been. Dirty bean! Creepy bean! Operation Bean! They mind Operation U Treats, Operation Bean Bag. You know what? I fancy a McDonald's, but I can't eat one, can I? Been on slot nearly seven years. Still can't shift this last four stone. Uh, is Tommy Fury now a gimmick for Queensbury? After that fight that he's just had with a guy ranked 850 on box rec. Is Tommy Fury a gimmick? cameras. Is Tommy Fury a gimmick? You've just got... What is it with people today? Don't they see signs? Look at him there at 51 plate Rover. Oh, I'll keep camera there. There's too many grasses, isn't there? On uh, social media. Keep grassing me, don't they? Wee! 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 You know when people keep grassing you? Remember you need car registration plate, time, road and everything else. So, unlucky! And people setting accounts up at Porky's Corner. I am not on Twitter. But thank you very much for growing the Porky legend. Is Tommy Fury a gimmick? Is he a smaller version of KSI and Logan Paul as regards gimmick wise, not size wise? Can Tommy Fury fight Porky? No, I don't think he can. My son is the best ever, he's the 8th wonder of the world and my Tommy's going to be the ninth wonder of the world. That's right, that's me, that's John Fury. Look, if they can get paid, good luck to them, but tell me a gypsy out there that's fought anybody apart from Tyson Fury and Billy Joe. 
And they've not got that many wins, have they? Tyson beat Vladimir, Billy Joe's best wins who? Lemieux, Andy Lee, that's it. Who are Andy Lee's best win? John Jackson Jr. That's it, they've all got one win apiece. Not fighting anybody, are they? Tell me a traveller that's fighting somebody. Tell me a travelling boxer that's fighting elite people. Tommy Fury is going to be a 25 and 0 fighter. 25 and 0 before they even go in, go in for a central area. They're just going to mop. They're going to use him to prop shows up. That's it. He's from Manchester, fighting in London. That just that just sums it up. Why didn't they put him on in Manchester and let him headline? It's a gimmick. It's a gimmick. That's all it is. A gimmick. The more bothered about PR than fighting. Tyson's got biggest profile in the world at the moment, hasn't he? But who's he fighting? Who's his last two fights? Tommy the Machine Gun Swartz and Otto Wally? What's all that about? What is all that about? 